Okay, so I wanted to welcome everybody to our first, uh, hopefully many, healing uh, webinars for the Southern Hemisphere. Um, Ileana, if you are new, uh, there's a few of you new. Uh, my name is Deb Purcell, this is my husband Rick, and uh, he's connected to Creator, uh, God, Source, whatever name that you give to him. Um, and his energy then, uh, I get the downloaded information, uh, which allows me to see inside your body, which is, is then the, the healing energy is actually given to you. And I actually see the inside of your body and that's how we do the healing. So basically I scan somebody for healing past lives. If somebody has an agenda, we can, we can see that also. And then Deb gets the downloaded information. And that's, uh, that's what we do. Um, and usually you feel the energy uh, coming from Rick to you in the form of uh, warmth or vibration. Jingling. Yeah, or a jingling of some sort. Um, we also bring through uh, either a, um, somebody from the angelic realm uh, can come through and give you messages. Um, during this session though, we don't usually give past life unless it's something relevant to your healing. It might go now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Philip Barrow, I've been a healer since I was four year old. Uh, my mum was a medium and a tarot reader. Uh, I used to do a lot of tarot cards uh, when I was uh, in my childhood and I stopped doing it when I was uh, about 20. But I actually did a, an event this week for the first time. I will send healing to everyone who wants it. And also if you want a oracle card from an angelic pack, just ask and I'll give you a, a guidance card from the uh, from the angels as well, if that's okay, Deb. I think it's, it's relevant in England, I suppose. Uh, I am connected to various other aspects of uh, previous lives. Uh, we all have thousands of lives, but I've chosen some of the special ones that have got knowledge. Uh, Hermes on Atlantis, uh, Merlin, uh, and also obviously Raphael. So the aspect I connect to, if I haven't got the knowledge inside, I will channel that aspect to see if uh, I can get some guidance off them or if I'm a bit unsure. So uh, just give me your best uh, and I'll try and heal you and see what happens. Okay. And this is uh, about our 11th time that Phil and I have done this together. So we make a good team doing these uh, webinars together. So on the chat pane, uh, if you would put down your requests, uh, Sophie will keep track and we'll get started. Um, we have um, Susan first and she would like to scan for Yeah, uh, what about Violet? <laughs> oh, is it because I haven't gone up to the page ever? Uh, I think you're right. Oh yeah, oh, I did see that. Okay, I'm well, walking to the river right now, so I have a minute. But we'll lose you, so let's start with you, Violet. Okay. You know, when the when the scrolls. So let's see. Can you go live on your screen for us, please? Because Rick has to. Is that better? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Here, I'll stop too. Speak again, please. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna actually turn around and sit down so I can actually ground a little bit more. I just saved myself and everything trying to ground further. You look very stressed. Do you want, do you want I healing? Do you want, do you, yeah, do you want a card from the angelic part, the oracle part? Sure, thank you. I'll do it after the healing. Uh, okay. You've had the first back, so what are your side effects? What what what's the problem that you're having from it? Because obviously this okay. isn't new to, to all of us, basically. Yeah. So I was here. I had the vaccine two weeks ago from Wednesday. So 
17 days ago. Um, I've had extremely bad headaches, um, almost the worst that I've ever had before. And they're pulsating up in the front. And then also like at the back of my neck, like right between where my head meets my neck. Um, extreme body pain in my joints and muscles. Um, my chest has felt heavy and um, just really fatigued, exhausted. Uh, I went back to my doctor yesterday and they're very concerned. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm gonna get emotional. Um, they're running extensive testing right now. Um, they're concerned about my heart. They're concerned about the oxygen, like um, how much oxygen is getting through my blood. Um, and also pursuing um, either a blood or a bone disorder or disease as well. Okay. Sorry, that's as brief as I can make it, but I know it's a lot. It's widespread. I'll do you, I'll do some healing. I'm not actually telling everyone what I'm, I'm not telling anyone what I'm doing because this is different. This is uh, normally I tell everything how I do healing and everything, but this is a little different because I'm actually mixing. Uh, I'm actually going basically going your structure with uh, crystal energy. So uh, let us know what you feel because. Uh, I, I'm trying this out because I've been I guided to do it, but uh, let's give us a few minutes and I'll let uh, Deb scan you as well. So. Thank you, guys. Can I ask you which vaccine you got? Uh, yes, ma'am. It was the U.S. Pfizer. And you only got the first one? Yes, ma'am. I'm supposed to go back on Wednesday um, for my second one. However, I don't know. My doctor says not to uh, miss it and still get it, but do some things differently. But I'm concerned about getting the second one at this point. feel anything yeah i started to feel um a warmth in my head um mm -hmm. crown chakra area and it went down into the back of my neck the back of my neck is now pulsating like a spasm um my throat feels like it's um like i have a tickle in my throat now like almost like i'm draining and then my heart feels very very warm 
I have a tingle in my legs as well. That's just starting. Okay, now I'm starting to sway a little bit, it feels like. You don't have any vaccine in your body anymore. Okay, good. I might, though. <laughs> no, I, um, as soon as I, before I even got it, I set up the parameters and the shields and everything. I invoked the violet flame um, to help clear out any toxins uh, that could be. And I've been doing a lot of work with my codes. Um, as far as trying to be rid of anything that could be toxic of matter and not serving the highest good. You need to drink a lot of water. You need to flush it. You need to drink a lot of water. You've got energy inside you that's going to stay with you for the next five days. Um, right, how much, I mean, like how much water are we talking? Well, you like, just need to drink a lot of water and, and make sure that you purify it before you drink it. Okay, so run it with my energy? For the next five days just drink more than you normally would okay. so if you're if you drink a few bottles a day just drink it's the next drug okay I, and I are you saying it. go ahead sorry i drink a lot of water okay should i charge it first with energy yes with love uh can violet can you also message me changes because I'm not saying the, what I've done, but I've put like a, a crystal energy into up your cells to try and take it out. And as you say, violet flame is brilliant. What you're using, because yes. I was using a bit of that as well into the crystal energy. So. Thank you. Do you want the message from the angels? Remember, I, the first time I did it was an event this week, but I haven't done it since I was in my teens. So this is... Uh, I've got to get back into it. Right, just tell us when to That's start. Very powerful. Mm. In a good way. Yeah. Well, you feel very powerful now. Thank you. I'm trying. Tell me when to stop. Tell me one when more. To... Go ahead, stop. That one. Hopefully, I'll remember it. Ah, body care. <sighs> What the angels are guiding you here, right, is try and stop worrying about the elf. Start performing your elf. In other words, start eating healthy, exercise. Yeah, so that's what what the uh, the guidance of the angels. Is. What part is that? Sorry. Body care. Body care. Body care. Stop so, worrying about your health. Start. Take Do care, it. care of you. Yeah. That's funny because I posted about that last night that this is a big wake up call for me and that it's time I start taking things more serious with my own health and my own care. So very much in alignment with what, you know, I was felt called to share last night. Yeah, if, if, you, you if you think about it, exercise is, is a bit of a detox as well, if you think about it, if you do enough training. I used to walk and run and everything all the time and my body, unfortunately like with a lot of the pain has limited me on what I can and cannot do right now so um even like leisure walking I try to do like me walking down to the river it's only like half a mile but that's a good grounding place for me it's a safe haven so that's why I was trying to do that before I laid down well, well you could try uh, cycling or swimming these exercises are uh, pounding your legs yeah swimming would be ideal I just don't have anywhere yet I'm waiting right. for them to open up. Um, I'm not allowed to cycle because I need the fusion in my back, but um, I love all that stuff. Okay. Thank you, guys. I, I feel like very lightheaded right now, but like so much better. I don't know what all was done, but I'll, I'm very grateful. So thank you. You're welcome. Deb, thank you to you and Rick as well. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I really appreciate all you guys do for the community. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Uh, we have um, Susan 
next is Ball hair. Yes, it's me. How are you both? Hi, hi. So You're lovely fine. to see you. Lovely okay. to see you all. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm still dealing a little with my skin condition. I just have a little scabbing going on my face, but um, but also this past week I've been feeling very drained of energy, which makes me wonder if I have any implants or attachments going on that might be causing that. Um, that could, you know, if you can clear any of that, if you see that as well. Thank you. Okay. Susan, do you want, yeah, you want healing? Seth, you want healing? Yes, yes, okay. scan and healing, yep. Okay. Just relax. I see an attachment in her back. It's not quite on your waistline, it's just above your waistline. It's an elderly woman. She said she's from a nursing home. Do you have a nursing home near you? I I visit my mom at her assisted living place, um, which also has mem memory care there as well. So, okay. Mm. She said that that's where she's from. Did she pass away? Yeah. Well, yes. That's why she's in your back. Yeah. <laughs> She attached herself to you. That's where you picked her up. I want to say her name's Gertrude, or she that's her proper name, but that's not what people called her. I, think people, I don't know why people called her Molly, but her real name was Gertrude. She said she was in memory care. She said that um, she saw your light. She'd been wandering around there for a while. She had to see you, the light. She didn't know where to go. Very talkative. <laughs> she said she'd been a lot of a lot of different places that she used to go when she was living, visiting. She didn't have a lot of people to visit anymore, so she'd just go to places she like her school, but there's nobody around. She kept trying to find people to visit, so she decided to. Stay with you because she liked you. You were nice to your mother. She hopes you didn't mind. My goodness, she lived a long time. She was almost 102. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, Mother Mary's here. So we're going to explain how to, we're going to explain how to um, expand her God spark and make the light like yours.
So I'm doing this telepathically to her. That's why I'm going quiet. ready to release herself and go with Mother Mary. She says the thank you and to apologize yes. if she caused any harm. And she's gone. So for anybody that doesn't understand what an attachment is, um, it can be a lost soul, it can be um, it can be a parasite, a spiritual parasite that somebody unknowingly left on you. Um, in most well, cases, it's a lost soul. Sometimes it can be even darker than that, but luckily yes. it's not this one. Yes. And then it's my job. <laughs> yes, yes, that's what I do. I call Phil in for those. <laughs> Um, yeah. uh, in this case, it was a, it was an elderly woman, and and I telepathically speak to them, and I ask them to get their God to take their spark in their heart is is the God spark inside of all of us, as our soul. And when they see someone a, a, a light worker, and they see our lights, it's kind of is like a a beam for them, like a spotlight. Because they don't, they don't know where they see us. Because other people that aren't awakened, they don't have this glow. So when you, when they are, they were part of a, the recycle. They, the the Greys had a recycle, uh, a, a reincarnation recycle. There's a whole thousands of people that went through this recycle. They're used to passing, crossing over, dying, and going through this recycle. It's, constant recycle they grab them put them through the recycle so they just went through this reincarnation recycle and and she was probably part of that where they she didn't know where to go well there it, that's no more the angelics or the 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 whatever you want to call them the ets the higher dimensionals have destroyed it it's gone so now when they cross over they don't know where to go um so they latch on so there's a lot of people getting attachments, a lot of light workers. So that's why we're finding quite a few with them. We've had them. They jump on us. There's a lot. There's some light workers that say, "I don't want any lost souls contacting me or jumping on." So they're putting protection around themselves. You can you can choose to do that. You have every right to do that if you don't want them. Mm -hmm. We don't. We have chosen not to do that because we we have a it's easy for us to send them to the light. Uh, Susan, you been t you take everyone's negativity as a kind thought, if you know what I mean. You you actually take people's, and that creates a lot of stress, and the stress manifests into tiredness, where skin problems, because mm -hmm. when you have negativity in your in your brain and you don't release it, it goes into your body and it, it, where your weak point is, it makes it worse. You also have got, there's some, uh, someone actually taking your energy. So I did a few things then. Number one, I created a portal around your head. I created, I brought in the healing, uh, angelic healing seed, I don't know if you can feel that, uh, to actually give you a bit of a cleanse. Then I used some moon energy to quieten your skin down then i put something in your aura field to protect you from any it could even be the old people's own but you're 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 willing to give all your energy 
but you haven't got that much energy to give. <laughs> you yeah. should should be thinking of yourself more uh, at the moment. Yeah. No, I'm I'm feeling like I am at a crossroads and about, um, and I think I I'm aware of who might be taking my energy and and um, separating from that person. So. Well, I, I'm I'm finding something in your aura field, so they can't yeah. take it. So you've shielded from someone taking it. Yeah, so and I've called. It. Yeah, I've called in Archangel Michael and Metatron, and um, I, I channeled Metatron. Then I'm a fractal of Metatron, so I channeled him last night, and and I think he cleared a lot out of me. <laughs> but but I've been yeah coming, following my intuitive guidance as far as how to proceed with the situation, and and so I yeah plan on making. A decision in the next few days, so about what to do. Yeah. But yeah, there's sort of something in your aura field now to stop people taking the energy. Yeah. It's your control now. So. Yeah, wait, I've been wait. told Michael and Metatron have been cutting cords and yeah. un unhooking cords, yeah, to that person. That the person has several like parasitic type of attachments that he's holding on to. So. Um, yeah, mm. so I plan to go separate ways, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you want an angelic oracle card? Yes, I would love one, thank you. I am rusty on this, but I think the last one is quite Yeah, I've been, I've been trying to get back into my oracle cards too, so that's cool. I started doing these at five year old. I had uh, Oracle Angel cards and I was the Crow with Tarot. So I had the be be best of both worlds and uh, I just stopped about 18, 19. Just carried on healing more. Tell us when to stop. Now. Okay. Remember, cards can be used as a tool, not just for fortune telling or guidance, it can actually do healing if you get the right one. There you go. I don't even have to tell you, do I? I have a hard time seeing that. Retreat. Retreat. Retreats. <laughs> Guid guidance, sir. Yes. Yep, that's what my cards have been <laughs> telling me for lately, so, yep. Okay. I don't even think I have to read that one, actually. It says it all, doesn't it? So, I'll leave that one. Yeah, so. Yes. But you should feel more energy now. Uh, yes, I do. I do feel a little bit of a lightning now because I was, yeah, I was feeling just just in the last hour. I mean, before this, I was feeling like um, a little heaviness, a little yeah, a little drained, and yeah, I've been trying to kind of keep myself separate in the same household, but um, yeah, but uh, yeah, I've gotten a lot of insight from from other channelers and and from my own inner guidance and channeling and yeah so i know what i need to do i'm i'm clear on that and but i'm gonna have a hy hypnosis session tomorrow to kind of talk to my higher self directly <laughs> through that and and uh just get um kind of get a strategy in place in the next few days what to do so mm -hmm. that's great yep so, but thank you very much. Yeah, I do feel, yeah, that I feel a lot more clearer, yeah, mentally. And yeah, I felt kind of that little bit, that brain fog thing taking over. And I'm, and it just came all of a sudden. I'm like, okay, I think I'm getting some interference, but I feel like that's gone now. That's lifted. So, so thank you, all of you. And thanks for removing the attachment, Deb and Rick. That was, that was great. I was also sending, trying to focus on saying you know connect to the light in your heart that's your connection to your soul and to god and so i was trying to telepathically communicate to her as well so, so, so. Very. sweetie yeah right place now yes well that's wonderful that mother mary came and escorted her well so. she's always right by you so she was the closest one and jumped right in there you know that yeah cool she's always got your back yeah <laughs> We love you. All right. Love you. Thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Much love.
have um Cindy next, but Cindy seems to go. Cindy off. Jumper. Yeah, she's actually jumped off. <laughs> so she has. Um, oh, the Cindy's back. Okay, Cindy. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. That's so funny, now. Jump on, Cindy. Yeah, I'm jump. jumped on. Okay. Cindy said she had a stent in and she looked mm. to help to get rid of a kidney stone. And it feels toxic shock syndrome still. Did they get rid of the kidney stone? Indeed. Well, I don't know. I'm going to have a procedure the first Monday in June, but I'm allergic to the plastic in the stent, and it just makes my brain feel scrambled. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want some healing? Yes, please. Right. You got toxins. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I'll work it out. Thank you. We're really so, good at we're really good at dissolving these things. You know, you should have contacted us sooner. I did last week, but it, I think the kidney stones are gone. But it's a stent that's making me feel very nauseous or ill. Sorry, Phil. Archangel Michael's in there. I'll, I'll, I'll just shove him away. <laughs> He's got his blue sword in there. <laughs> I can see him. He's like, Stab. Oh, I see both of you in there. You have a lot of pain, though. Is he a lot of pain? It, it's kind of a. Yeah, what you call it's it, a like? pain that's irritating. It's not pain, mm -hmm. pain, but it's pushing against some areas down there. It's, it's like you're bloated. Yes. Mm, yes. I'm, I'm feeling that. It's awful. <laughs> My back's on fire. He's doing something. I'm feeling very light, like I'm in a bubble. And my back's steaming, like there's all this heat in your. So that's where your kidneys are in your back. You don't feel the heat in your back? No. I feel a pressure. Mm. Yeah, it's healing. I'm getting a message that you're... Is it your pancreas or your gallbladder? Um, I don't have a gallbladder. It's your pancreas. He's healing your 
pancreas too. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot going on down there, but it's not uncomfortable. It's it's relieving. In that area, they're doing, he's doing healing there. And your bladder. Yeah, every time I stand up, I have to go pee. Don't stand up, man. (laughs) (laughs) Every woman that had children has that problem. Yeah, that was very, uh, I didn't like that, actually. I've tried to flush it. You tried to flush everything okay. I've connected with your brain to try and say that, you know, this stint was okay. It wasn't foreign. It's, don't attack it, if you know what I mean. Uh, you've also got, what do you do spiritually? Um, I'm practicing to be a medium. Um, I've always seen, heard, smell, uh, talk visions yeah. but it's it's hard for me to get back to my studies on this hmm. because my really, brain when I connected you've uh, you just got a bit of fuzziness where the connection is at the back of the air but you, you've got a gift there that yeah definitely go, go for that gift because uh, you can probably partly do what I've just done you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, the, the medium side, definitely connection. You've got very strong connections there. Yes. Uh, I didn't know you could study to be a medium. Mm-hmm. Well, just educate myself more and getting the courage up to just jump online and, and, and start doing something, asking mm-hmm. questions. Just, I, I just truly believe passionately, passionately that this is my calling. Okay, but then the only thing you have to do is trust and trust in the messages. Yeah. You don't have to study. You have to just release the fear. <laughs> you know that you you have to trust in the in what you I think De- Deb, I think what it is is you've got to get used to doing it. So you've got to yeah. tra- you, the training is your own training. Yeah. No, that's what yep. yeah. There's, there's nothing to study. Mm. Yeah, that that makes more sense. Yeah. I, I think the only problem with being medium is everyone wants good messages. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want anything. Well, well, <laughs> and I have learned throughout my lifetime that they're not all mm. good, and I've I've dealt with that. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, that, that's the only problem. Your last name is Jumper. Jump yep. away. Mm. Okay, I will. <laughs> Ask Rhonda. I mean, it's all the same thing. It's the same thing. That was my worst. I mean, that was my worst thing is is just trusting myself, the trusting, you know, and stop telling people that I I, I couldn't channel. No, I can't channel. I can't. I can't do it. Oh, it was right, right. It's and just it. it's just practice, and not that I'm an expert yet. It's just practice. <laughs> And the it's confidence the you can do it. Yes, yeah. Having the confidence in yourself, whether you're getting everything a hundred percent correct. I mean, you do. You try to do your best, but yeah. if you have the confidence, then you know it's going to come. It's going to come. I think that's what yeah. I try anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the messages, messages come through. Rhonda, yeah. when, when I was eight, I told my uncle to stay in bed a month. The next day he fell off a ladder and broke his leg. But when you're eight, you just say it as it is. <laughs> just, yeah. You don't hide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, when you're eight, it's like, well, who's going to believe you? Right? Yeah. So that was actually probably a very difficult role you had at that time. Well, what was what was strange was he did stay in bed for a month, uh, stay in the house yeah. for a month because he had a broken leg. <laughs> oh. No, oh, he learned the hard way, right? Listen next time. <laughs> yes, I've I've learned to do that. Uh, it's like 
why did I think that? And then it immediately happened, mm-hmm. you know, like uh, something with my car. It's like, oh, if I lean on that too hard, that thing's going to, oh my God, why did I, why did I even let that thought come in my head? You know, did, did, I did, did, did you manifest it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I tried not to manifest those things. <laughs> But I thank you so much for all your kind words and encouragement and the healing. I feel so much better. Mm-hmm. I just, I love you guys. It's so great to be too. a part of this. I love you too. Okay. Oh, Take care. I did try, I, fl- I used uh, like a flush energy. So if you did have any stones there, they might not be there now. So, yeah. Yeah. So I might not know. So, so you, when you go to the hospital, you should be able, should be able yeah. to. Yeah, everybody. I can't, after, I can't after, guarantee after, it. Hmm? Everyone after the healing, um, for the next few days, drink a lot of water. Do you want Always a card? Drink ca- water. Yeah. Do you want yeah. a card, card, by the way? Yes. Thank you. So it's do press it. It's telling me when to stop. Stop. Okay. Ah, celebration. The guidance from the angels is you're going to celebrate. So uh, that could be celebration from various things. I'd say it's more also to do with your gift as well. I, I, I feel it's, I think you're going to have good times ahead with celebration. Yes. Yeah. That, definitely. it's going to be awesome. Yeah. So that's good. Excellent car, Okay. Okay. Thank you, love. Thank you. Thank you, love. Have a good day. Mm-hmm. We have um Kath next. Um, she's got a broken rib. Mm. Um, yeah. I don't know if she's been doing some boxing or something. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Bell. So I break it one rib. When did you break? Uh, when did you break your rib? Uh, about um, 10 days ago, no, maybe a week ago, but I just, okay. it effect, it's affected my breathing and, um, and it, obviously not enough, my movements and stuff. Is it set in place correctly though? I don't necessarily think it, it may not be, it's not broken, it may be very slightly cracked, but I already have a weakness from a car accident I had, mm-hmm. so I can... It may be a very, very, very painful torn ligament or whatever, but either way, it's a very weak part in my body. But I did Google it and it did also say it can be linked to the Divine Feminine, um, alerting you to mother, to some mental health stuff. I don't know. To, to heal a, bro- a cracked bone or a broken bone, you've got to send high frequency energy. Normally right, I, that's what I'm saying, Phil. I know you're capable of that, so I'm qualifying it. I think it may be a very torn ligament rather than a break because I know what you're like. You can set that straight away. Uh, so, um, yeah, it's. Well, I'll, 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 connect? I'll, I'll connect. Can connect? Hmm? Yeah, can you connect um, to heart to heart and just go into your heart space? Okay. The Father wants you to connect with Him. Other yeah. Which means Rick and you connecting heart to heart. Thank you. That's right. In your chest, um, there's a green fog of emerald green healing energy just being 
permeating in your whole torso. Okay. Do you feel anything, Kat? Yeah, I feel like a, a sense of relief. Mm -hmm. Feels like I've been holding on to something. I, th I think it's a bit of a rib problem and a ligament problem. Okay. okay. I'm not. I'm not a doctor though, because I'm. I'm, I'm no, actually I mean, insured to you, so. I mean, it's a, it's having the, the uh, symptoms of a rib, as in like you know, low breath and not being able to move it normal. As I say, there is a weakness there already from past accident. Okay. Now, Father wants you to take a, a slow, deep breath. And let this emerald green energy. And now release it very slowly through your mouth. Is it pain-free or does it hurt? It's a little bit painful, but it's, it's not as bad as it's been. It is in the process of healing, I know, but... Um, all right, now he's going to put his white energy, white diamond light energy on the outside. And Phil's continuing with his energy. I don't know if you can feel his, I can see his energy. It, it's, my heart's more, fl not fluttering, but it's vibrating slightly faster. Yes. What, what, the energy I'm using is from Andromeda, it's very prickly. Right. It's very high vibration, and that's what I need. I need to up the vibration. So you're getting angelic and creator energy. So you're getting bombarded. Uh, it, has, uh, it has uh, has no choice but to heal. Yeah, and a, a drama deck. Wow, thank you. Okay. And now I've been mentally but challenged by somebody around me at the minute, and so that's I think it's all tied in with that really, as well as. It's a physiological as well as an emotional, mental challenge. Mm -hmm. You're feeding the pain with negativity then. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not, but anyway, I'm trying to fight against that. You have to release that. Yeah. Yeah. And My point. sense of peace and sense of self is getting squeezed. Okay, so let's, let's take that sense of peace and let's whoever's whoever's re, whoever's taking away your sense of peace let's take their negativity and put it in your hand and ball it up and then blow it away release it that's how you have to, you have to gather up their negativity and release it blow it away it's not yours it's theirs you don't have it. You I can't know. hold on to these things. This is not your responsibility. No, I know. So you, you, cannot, you can't take it into yourself because all it's doing is hurting you. You have to let them lead mm -hmm. their life and let their negativity stay with them. It can't stick to you any longer. So you've mm -hmm. got to you gotta gather it up and get it off you. Get it off or throw it away. <laughs> And you have to send them love. No, I, I, love. Believe me, I really am at the highest possible at all times. Right, but don't let it affect you. I know, I know they're in the same house, right? Yeah. Do you want a card there? Uh, barrier. Put up a barrier. Have I got a card? Oh, yes, please. Thank you, uh, Carl. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, Ten feet around you. Yeah, I was, thank you. I was meant to stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, stop, thank you. Protective barrier. Put up a mirror. Facing out. I hear you. Their ne negativity will bounce off that mirror and go right towards them. Uh, it's, it's intentions. Okay, right, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, 
the the angels are basically saying that you've got to take account of your life at the moment. That's for your the present and the future. You control that, but you've got to take take uh, account of it. If you know what I mean. Uh, okay. You, bit of healing. I, check check your life at the moment. I am doing. I am trying to to heal and protect. Heal and protect. Yeah. So that's my, I've heard both your, well, all three of you's great advice and I hugely appreciate Source, yourself, angelic healing. Wow. Thank you guys. Uh, Deb, I think Deb was explaining about negativity, um, what to do. Deb, we missed a bit. Yeah. You, you want to put Are up the mirrors? mirror. Okay. You can do this, the mirror around you that faces out. You can yes. do it for just about anything. You can do it for negativity. You can do it for, um, um, for people that eat, that talk bad, and it causes a, a, a like a, a, a thought forms to come at you, and, yeah, and those, saw, those yeah. can turn into daggers that that hurt you. You know, they talk bad about you. They, they um, those are thought forms. You can do. You can protect yourself with a mirror that's facing out. It's the same I'm thing with negativity. Me. You can have it. The negative emotions. You can put that up around you six feet out ten feet out however far out you want it to be yeah well then, yeah, too far out yeah but um you can do I think that normally normal circumstances that is very i am very aware of that but because it's so close i've forgotten to do that the, the other way is to release it in a tree in a oak tree or a willow tree okay okay but yeah. ask permission first to uh, ask Absolutely. healing yeah. healing off the tree to uh because trees are pure, so they'll just take your... Right. I really love the trees. I've got a great connection with them, so I'll definitely... I've forgotten to connect with them recently, so that's very good advice. Thank you. Can I say one, one other thing, Cindy, before about the uh, medium? How I did a mediumship thing, we were at about 12 at a church, and we just spontaneously said what came in our head to, everyone, to each person and it didn't really it, it was quite good so if you can get a couple of people that you know and mm -hmm. just say out loud and this is for cindy yeah uh, yeah that, that's how i did it so uh, the, the only thing is i used to be a bit too honest so <laughs> church what church lets you do mediumship it was a jesus church how <laughs> church not, not in the US. It, it, it's, it's no, the UK. I was British church. We, we do allow that. It's very mm. UK. It's UK. Anyway, bless you all. Thank you so, so very much. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Welcome. Keep doing the real wonderful work. Um, next, we got Rhonda's friend, Robin. She would like a reading and. Um, a chakra healing? No, that was not chakra, sorry. Uh, no, no. He says, I'm interested in a reading or a card, please. Thank you. I've got here. He's asking for a chakra healing and opening. Oh, the chakra one is um, Divino, isn't it? Uh, no. With you. No, I, I have a Rhonda. No, I was on my phone, <laughs> yeah. Robin is Thank asking you. for a chakra healing Robin and, a, and an opening. Asking. I'm sorry. Robin is asking for chakra uh, assistance so she can do her thing. Yeah, um, I'm just wanting to, I've been doing throat and heart chakra work, definitely need work on my throat chakra. Uh, you know, you did a little reading for me a couple of days ago in, in your meeting and you said, uh, you know, I had a rough patch that I was going, I would go through in the near future, right? <laughs> well, I just got my two count hack some money taken and so um, thank you for that <laughs> hopefully hopefully that this will be a little bit better tonight but um i just feel like my throat chakra is, is I'm, I'm not expressing myself in the best possible way and i'm causing a lot of confusion with uh, communication and i know part of that is triggering and it's not necessarily me but um, still, I just feel like my throat chakra is too sore. And my heart chakra, yeah. I don't think so. Last week, we should have told you what was happening, and then you could have preempted it. <laughs> well, 
I'll ask my questions next time. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, so you need healing on your throat. Sometimes your throat chakra, it's like blockages and you've got to like connect all your chakras. So it's not just one chakra, it's all of them and it needs balancing. Uh, so when someone says my throat chakra is not good, it normally is. It's, it just needs a balance, a body balancing. So I'll try and get your chakras working. I like to do them in like a figure of eight so they all mingle in together, if you know what I mean. I think it's a past life. It's a past life. I'll, I'll do the healing and you um, can go back, to go back. Let's go back to a past life. I think mean, we don't usually do past life healings, but in your case, um, I will move the path that my uh, heart chakra was past life. I've been trying to get to self worth, I've been trying to get to um, uh. Now, your past life, the self worth is also to do with this past life. Um, you were um, you were abused as a child. Yes. You were sexually and physically abused as a child. I don't know what it. Uh, yes. It was a past life. Um, I don't know what your this life was, but uh, and they're showing me a past life. And um, eventually, they slit your throat. So there's your throat chakra right there. Um, okay. Hate okay. Show me this stuff. So okay. we will Native have to. Native American. I'm sorry. Was that Native American? Meaning I got my one. throat was cut. Was that Native? They didn't show me child, what nationality. Do you know? I, I'm not joking. I was waiting for you to say it is that. Because <laughs> oh, I, wow. I, I, I've got, I got that. Uh, uh, I'm a of past life. I thought we had healed it at the time, but I am aware of that past life. I actually cut my own throat. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the way, way I understood it, but I might be yeah, that that life needs to be healed. That's what we need to heal you from is that trauma. Yeah, it's yeah, the okay. trauma. You brought the trauma in, but yeah, I, I would have hundred percent said that definitely. Uh, okay. Yeah. So that's that's the, that's what we need to heal you from, and then your chakras need to be aligned and healed but that's that's that is what we have to heal you from you were trying you were trying to get rid of that life but by doing it like you, the way you did it you've created a trauma in the lives after oh no, oh, no. and you have and it, it has to be a forgiveness forgive yourself and forgive Surren the, surrender uh, everything <clears throat> I, I really thought we did complete it, um, but maybe, I, you know, maybe not. I really thought that was in that was one I had worked on. I've done a lot of past life work on myself, um, uh, and I really thought that was complete. It, and it could be another life. I could, we could be talking about something else. No, that's the one. No, I'm it's that one. It's that wonderful. It's that did, one. Did you forgive the the people who hurt you? Did you forgive them? I, I did. Um, yes, actually, the the Native American that I uh, my family was killed, and the Native American that killed my family was my current husband in life. And um, he's already crossed, but I brought him back, and we talked about I'm it. I'm seeing. I'm he's seeing. I'm seeing. The Native American isn't the one that did it. That it was. I'm seeing. What, was it the French and Indian? Was, were they soldiers? French soldiers. American? Okay, well, there was another life, yes. Um, okay, that's a different one. Um, yes, and that one, um, I actually, I was the, my mother was the chief's daughter, and she was protecting the, my father, who was chief, was gone, and this would have been from the French and Indian War, and they came in. The soldiers came in and they were trying to get information from my mother and um, she finally told them what they wanted to know, hoping that they wouldn't kill and get people in the village. And it was just uh, old people and young people, women, the soldiers were gone, I mean the braves were gone and they made me stand. I was a little child, I was her daughter, a boy, I'm not sure if I was male or female, and I had to stand there and watch. Um, they lined everybody up and they cut their throat and they just fell into a ravine one after another, one after another. 
um, and I was made to walk. Uh, as far as I know, my life, my throat wasn't cut. Maybe it was. But I ended up climbing down the bodies to find my mother because she was the first one that they 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 killed. And I actually climbed down that stack of bodies and found her hand and broke it in hand. And my father did eventually come back. He did kill the, the soldier and we kind of we kind of looked, said goodbye to our land, and turned around and walked away. We were the only survivors of our tribe from that experience. It might not be you. Cut your throat. Rhonda, I mean, Robin, it might not be you, but you yeah. saw all the throats being cut. That memory, they, that trauma. They yeah, that, that they, alone they would have brought me, it. They held me. Yeah, they held me by the neck and I had to watch. For some reason, they didn't kill me. I was told because they were afraid of my father, but I'm not 100% sure. What I can but the woman that was working with me on this past life, there ended up being some issues with that friendship and um, I don't know if that had anything to do because she was the one telling me this and I didn't have as much visual at the time until later I had some because it we didn't we didn't resolve it all in one session and I there was questioning afterwards whether um, you know I, I wasn't sure if I was could actually trust everything she told me I had to base it on kind of what also what I knew and felt mm -hmm. I think there was more involved in that, but um, there, there's definitely healing that needs to happen, and it has to do with both of those bad past lives okay. that, that still need to be resolved. And that that's that's the most important thing is that we get okay. that, that we get the healing done today. I'm ready. So you you've got basically uh, is it, you've got to surrender and forgive everyone. Uh, but everything that's happened and you, what you've got to do is you've got to try and focus on that life and give yourself an hug and love and bring back you, you might have broke part of your soul like a soul fragment you've got to bring that back here and become old what you've probably done is you've probably healed it but you haven't brought your soul part fragment back I've done soul retrieval and soul return yeah and I that all be returned um you know from all lifetimes all past lives all practicals right. of the world. um i'm not saying i got them all but i was under the impression that i was done with that work mm. but that's great check check that and see okay let's get start okay, the journey well, let's, then let's try and do it with us okay i'm ready
Are you finished, Deb? Yes. That was, that was a bit of quite a weird story, though. Oh, my God. That's, uh, shall I tell you the story I got there? Uh, I got that a... Uh, <laughs> you got to be careful, you can't say white. Or, uh, a non-Indian got raped and had her throat cut. Okay? From the village nearby. They got the army in, and the army want, wanted the land for a railway. So they used it as an excuse and they killed all the Indians there, using the excuse that the village was happy because, and the girl that was raped, one of the one of the Indians was drunk and raped and killed the girl. She was grounded, so that soul's just been set. I actually just sent that, uh, which is quite weird. So that could be why there's still essence, uh, still residue. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not sure about your story, where you came in. I, I was just seeing the old picture, which was uh, quite fascinating, actually. Um, was I, uh, who was I in that? Was it the other woman that was raped, or was I the... No, you know, I don't know. I actually don't know. I didn't get that part. Deb, you, you might have got that part. But. <clears throat> well, I mean, I had thought... Uh, the lives that I had worked with, I thought they were complete. I thought I had done the correct healing. No. And I'm, and I'm, all I got was a, a past life that she was sexually abused and her throat was cut. And that's when you took off with all these stories and I'm like, right. okay. Sexually <laughs> so. abused, rape, your throat was cut. And so. So yeah, you, you could be the, uh, it could be what you were talking Yeah, uh, I didn't connect who it was because it went so quickly, if you know what I mean. So basically, what happened to you ended up, an old Indian village was killed. So, yeah. there's a lot of... Uh... Now, I actually saved a soul, but would I have saved you? Unless it was your soul fragment. I've been your soul fragment. Yeah. Too much in the story to try. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. But quite detailed. I appreciate it. I could feel the energy around me as you were working on me. I wasn't really getting any visual any more than, you know, um, but I definitely could feel the energy moving around me. Um, I would say my chest area does feel a little bit lighter. I've been oh. feeling a lot of heaviness in there. This yeah, at the end, at the end, I did a figure of eight balancing of your chakras. Forgot Thank you. Yeah. You know, it's so much happens that you forget what you do sometimes. Yeah. So this yeah. is, it's, 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 acknowledging, and when you, when we bring back something, acknowledging that, you know, when father brings through the lifetime and we're, healing that lifetime you don't have to bring it up anymore it's done it's all been healed so it's done it's gone it's there's no more and you've uh, already done the work for the other ones so you don't have to bring those up any longer okay i just think there's such a great story but i know we it's not necessary to keep bringing them back and we can't stay in the past but hmm. some of the stories are just fascinating but. well you you can talk about them. It, I mean, it, it's fine. I mean, but you don't have to forgive them. There's nothing to forgive any longer. And, you know, we, you know, we've had thousands and thousands of lifetimes, um, you know, stories, but, you know, the, the, the karma has been done, but they're all experiences that we chose to have. We actually choose those experiences. I, th I think sometimes when you've had a childhood secret, that can create your own trauma. So sometimes if you tell someone close, not relative normally the actual story it releases it because you're not owning it yeah. Um, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. and you want to pick a card i would love a card yeah. tell us one stop right, next one hmm playfulness let me read it.
Yeah, obviously I, that's a card. Okay. I uh, actually have the same deck. All right, have you got the same deck? Mm -hmm. Well, you know what it means then. Have lots of fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, don't, I have to read it. I'm not really a tarot card reader. I like to play with them a little bit. Say mm. so oracle card anyway. Uh, I haven't even got the book. <laughs> I've, I've lost the book, but okay. it, it's it basically have yeah, lots and lots of fun. Uh, guidance of the cards. You're not having enough fun. You need to, to have more fun. Okay, I understand that. I understand that. Yes. Yeah. I've, I've been on this push to. I feel like I have to to heal. I have to keep moving forward. I have to do more work. I have to. I can't, I'm not where I want to be, and I'm having a lot of um, triggering, and I don't want to say negativity, but, you know, um, I just feel like I'm not where I should be and where I want to be. So I'm constantly looking to see what do I need to do now. You know all that, just have some fun. Okay. <laughs> well, Rhonda's here, she'll take care of that. <laughs> I don't know what she means by that. <laughs> 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 well, thank you very much. That's great. It's better than the last card, so uh, I'm great with that. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's because you, you, you've uh, you've gone through that part. <laughs> oh man, last night was not not cool. Like, <laughs> talk about experiences and learning. I mean, and lessons. Holy crap! That's all I got to say. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. I remember them cars because did I say they're not good thing? <laughs> right? Mm. I don't know. I don't have the book either. Well, thank you both very much. And yeah. um, hope, I mean, I should definitely feel a difference now being able to express myself. Good. Good, deal. good deal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And many blessings. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, we have um, Davina, Angel Divine on next. She would like a scan. Um, yes, I wanted to. Uh, and <laughs> Davina. Yeah, basically, you know, last. thank you so much last Saturday that you guys helped me to heal my left eye. And if, you know, last week was 10, but now it's about 4. Because um, I know there's nothing there, but it feel like there's a, um, like eyelashes in there. Especially before I go to bed, you know, when I keep um, kind of open and close it, you could even right now I could still feel something there. And I, you know, so it's kind of just wanted to follow up, double check. And the second thing is the um, on my upper left um, back, behind, right behind my heart, I could feel like the the, the um, electric vibration, you know, like from time to time, not always, but like one or twice a day, and then. I just wanted to get some insight. You know, there might be something that, you know, if you, you have insight, you could share with me. But both are on the left hand side. And the third mm -hmm. thing I wanted to double check is the reproduction system. You know, there's a fibroid, but it's on the right side. So it was possible, you know, yesterday I, I, I have a, had the opportunity to check, um, talk with um, Dab. So she suggests, you know, maybe today we better do it, you know, again, yeah. again. And then also, if it possible, could you please help me to balance my um, divine masculine and divine um, feminine? Because it's, it's kind of like one, two is on the left side, one is on the right side. But, you know, so I just wanted to. Okay. I'll, I'll stop with they, the healing. Hmm? Yeah, they were the... um. The, um, spiritual parasites that uh, we removed last Saturday, remember? Davina? Yes? Yeah, Deb just said uh, we had, had parasites last week, spiritual ones. Yes, she did mention that to me. They, Archangel Michael were, removed them. I'll just check the area to see if it needs any healing. Thank you. What did they look like, Dad? Which one? They were worms. They were worms. Okay.
If anyone here doesn't know what spiritual parasites, a bit like the Green Mile, the film. Did it play hide and seek on me? Or did you see them? Hmm? Did you see them? Or did you see nothing? Because they kind of played hide and seek. Uh, the electric is like a, like an aura field thing, like a defense mechanism, and it's also repaired. You needed repairing of the aura field, and you're doing it yourself. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that new, that electric thing? The electric thing, the eyes and the upper left chest is about the same time, about two to two weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, but still feel like, you know, like there's a wave. Mm. It's not co- not constantly, like, you know, once or twice a day, you could feel the sensation. Mm. Like behind my heart, you know, from the back to the front. And the eyes, you just still feel there's something irritated. But when I check, there's nothing. Mm. But you just like, you feel like something still, you know, some residue is still there. Have you ever had any, any grit or sand in your hair uh, and you just rubbed it? Because what happens is you can scratch your eyeball and it takes mm-hmm. about five or six weeks to repair itself. Oh, okay. Okay. So one rub and it's scratched. <laughs> Perhaps, yeah, because at night time it really irritated, you know, yes. so maybe, yeah. So I just want to double check the stones, you know, it's heal, healing, there's nothing that is okay. It just take time for them to heal. I'll let Deb, I'll give you some more healing in the eye, actually. I've just been told to do some more. Yeah, so I'll let Deb speak. I didn't see anything, that's why I was wondering. I just saw, uh, I was told they were repairing the oil field. I didn't, there was nothing there. That's where they actually jumped in. Some of the oil field, they they actually damaged the oil field to get.
Né? E de feira. E feira nem energia, né? Me? Yeah. Mm. I just let it. He never does. <laughs> it's okay. But why are you doing that? Uh, the 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 um behind the heart sensation, you know, it's still it, it's like tickling. That's mm. I did feel that, but not the eye area. Mm. Okay. Do you still feel it now? Yes, but compared to. Last Saturday, let's say 10. Today, right now, maybe three. That's better. Yeah, it's much better. But as long as I know it's, you know, it's nothing there, it's, you know, take time to heal it. And mm -hmm. it's all, but you could still feel like some things, you know, like us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't see anything in their heart or behind your heart. Right. And could you please check the reproduction system, the sacred chakra, please? Okay. Was on the left before? Hmm? Wasn't it on the left before? What before? You told me there was a cyst before. Yeah. swollen again. Are you all bloated? Showing normal again. 
heal him again. It'll take a few hours before it'll feel better. But Creator showed me normal again. They're swollen. But how is it any way that we can, you know, go to the root cause of something? Because it's kind of coming back, you know, right? The, the death. We've done that and coming back, and we've done that and coming back. You're going through menopause. But if that's the case, it's supposed to shrink it. It could, and we, uh, it, it, it could be in the water. It could be a lot of things. It could be just in your city water. You know, you take a shower in it. Mm -hmm. You are a cat. I'm not getting. I'm not getting any specific information for it, Davina. I'm not. They're not giving me that answer. Okay. It, uh, yes, they are. Experience. It's your experience. You, you're quite healthy at the moment. So. Huh? You're very healthy. Yeah, you are. Tell us when to stop. Yes. Hmm. Right, you got forgiveness. Forgiveness. Mm. Mm. <laughs> can I can I have uh, um, more depth um, information? Forgiveness about myself or others. I know it's both, but mainly which which part? How I feel is you've got to forgive. You're holding something, so you've got to forgive. Someone, someone might have been in your childhood, might have been later. You got to forgive for what they did to you. Mm -hmm. And if if there's something that needs forgiving there, and you're holding on to it, this can create problems in your health mm -hmm. so it might if be coming somebody, it might... if it's somebody that you have to reach i have to help her because some it, it could be causing trouble in your health if it's somebody close like from your childhood or somebody that have to you have to forgive yeah okay. That's... you're holding on to it and holding on to it can manifest into illness or problems mm -hmm. for your body and you just gotta forgive the best way of also uh uh, getting rid of ownership of it is telling someone who's close to you. It doesn't have to be a family member. If something, a secret that happened, someone that you trust, and you've have, you've released it as a owner, as a, the owner of that problem. Uh, mm -hmm. So it, it, I'd say uh, the cards have just said it all. To be honest. Yeah. yeah. This is not the first time that you mentioned that Phil. Three out of the past three times, I think. You kept mentioning the same thing, forgiveness. And yeah. I know I definitely want willing to forgive, you know, no matter it's other people or myself mm. or whatever I done it to others or others done it to me, I'm willing to let go and surrender, forgive. But the thing is I don't know who to forgive. <laughs> you might have to go into your childhood. Okay. Okay. Might be so it might be a memory you've lost. But it's still yeah. there. Okay. Okay. So sometimes if you meditate into your childhood and give yourself an hug, it, it can be simple. It can be that you weren't allowed your favourite toy or certain thing, but the body, the brain can create that as, as a very bad thing, if you know what I mean. Got it. Yeah. So um, if you are going back in time into your childhood, you've got to give yourself an hug and just say, you're fine, you're going to be great. Mm -hmm. So I've said it three times now. Yeah, you said it three times. For the past three times I had healing, exactly the same thing that you say, forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And it comes and up. I, and, yeah, and I definitely know I'm willing to, but the thing right now is I don't know who mm -hmm. to forgive. You know, that's why I tried to find out which which and, one. Uh, Father's uh, saying your brother. My brother? Okay. And it, it may not be something current. It may not be something today. It may be something from before. Mm -hmm. So go back to your childhood. Got it. 
It just, just, I just want to say one thing. I don't tell everyone to that. It's just you. I just say it to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I didn't even remember last. A lot of times when you're doing stuff here, you don't actually remember what happens during this thing because a lot of times you're channeling other aspects of yourself. So you, sometimes you don't actually remember what you actually say. So yeah. It's why it comes out, what flows out. But when the things keep coming back, repeating, which means that's the main cause, the root cause mm. that we need to pull it out and yank it. Mm. Thank you so much. And then one more thing I wanted to know, you know, let's say when you, um, I'm asking for on the behavior of myself and others, because, you know, when you say the parasite, because from time to time we will, you know, enter into the Zoom gathering for, with different people, different group. How will we be able to protect ourselves? So we won't be able to, because just like setting the healthy boundary, it's not about from the fear base, but how can we be able to set a healthy well, boundary? This, this Zoom event here gets well protected and it's because this is in front of the Zoom. It's mm -hmm. a light it's light and dark crystal ball and that's that's checking and that's to making sure knowing if you go in other Zoom events, that's when people can bring him in, I suppose. That's where they can get them. You've got to be very careful. Normally, though, your aura field protects you. Mm -hmm. Obviously, with this slight, I don't know, have, did, have you hurt your shoulder at all in your life? Did you hurt your shoulder at all in your life? Any time, no. But obviously, it was an aura break. When your aura field breaks, it's a bit like meteors in Earth. Or it might be that they just went for that one area and a couple got through. Uh, mm -hmm. When your aura breaks, that's when the spiritual parasites can come in. And it really, they're just, uh, they just want your energy, don't they? That's all it's going for. Yeah. They're like energy vampires. Yeah. Yeah, so. but I'm saying, like, right now we will still join other Zoom gathering, you know, not for yeah. me, for Buddy, right but how can we protect ourselves before we enter if they don't know that their org field has a break in it it's like people that have that have a break in their org field and they don't know it mm. how do they protect themselves this is why someone injures the leg 30 years ago and they still got pain now and it's because 30 years ago something got through on that day and then it's healed the aura mm -hmm. field's healed but it's in there and it feeds and that's why people have pain and doctors say oh we don't know what you know you, you look okay and you just take it as it, uh, pain from the injury but the pain is the negativity that the parasite feeds on i've had some really weird stuff that I, i've cleared and uh quite uh yeah <laughs> it's quite big uh, and what I sometimes do is I can actually, if I'm healing, say an healer's got one, I can clear it and take it. And then what you do is, to get rid of them, you, burn, you, you program your brain to be 106 for 10 minutes, and it'll burn any, any of these parasites out. But the best way, I, I use a crystal ball for protection, that one. So, other Zoom events, you could uh, set some crystals near, near the tech to make sure they don't get through. Yeah, put, put a sheet yeah, got, put. I think you've got a few crystals, Davina. Yeah. Mm. Yes, I do. But I'm just saying, no, for everybody, because not a, just a me. mirror, a mirror shield, just just by yeah. intention, man, is, by visualization, put a mirror shield around. Before we go into the the Zoom, yeah. any Zoom room, right? Any yeah. Zoom gathering. Okay. Yeah, we'll put the mirror shield so that you, if you have an healing, obviously you've got to accept the healing. So. You, just set intentions of what you can accept and what you can't accept. Because mm -hmm. yeah. I always say, you know, I only accept something that's aligned for my highest, best, and greatest good, and yeah. something that's from the purest love and light. Other than that, you know, I won't accept that. Mm. So that should be good, right? Yeah. 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 But there's the, the people that have or are infested with these um, don't know they are. Mm. That's a sad thing. I I, I knew an Elo who's healing. Uh, I thought you don't mind a five minute story, do you? <laughs> she was healing a woman who had pain in the knee for 30 years. The woman on the Wednesday had had steroids in her knee. She started healing the woman 
and she couldn't move her arms. And what had happened is the parasite, which I actually saw, was about three inches long. I'll do the American measurement, three inches long by an inch, and it had a whole string around it with an eye. And I transferred that over to me. The healer could heal, uh, and she could move her arms again. But when I pulled it into me, I thought, what have I done? Because I saw what it was, it was a massive thing. And I thought, the temperature's not just going to get rid of it, it's going to make me series three ill. So I starved myself for 24 hours. So zinc me te temperature up at 106, I was ill all night. <laughs> yeah, but I knew I was going to be ill because it's the only way to burn these out, basically, just burn them out. But uh, normally I thought, I'd be able to get rid of it. I didn't know it was a lazy thing. It had been eaten for 30 years of this uh, woman's energy. Uh, and because the steroids went into her knee, it meant all the feeding area had gone. It needed a new host. So it went into the healer. The healer couldn't move the arms, and I did healing on the healer. So, but quite an experience for me. Yes. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. But I actually. I saw it with me, me mind's eye, and as soon as I seen it, I thought, what have we done? <laughs> so you gave yourself a temperature of 106, so you could burn it out? Blow it up. Burn it out. Boil it? Yeah, it only takes five minutes. Doesn't it that, was. and it doesn't, well, you're an angel, I guess you could take a temperature of 106. <laughs> yeah, only, only for five minutes. It's a, a short, boom, all the body goes. I, I, I've, my wife said, what's that? And I used to have, because I used to pick them up now and again because someone was bringing at the healing centre I was doing I used to have blobules of sweat and I said I'm just just doing a cleanse on myself <laughs> and, and what had happened this is a bit crude but sometimes I used to have the skin that lump come out and it wasn't a spot it was a lump and you could see it and it was white and you could see it like a beetle and then you put it in a jar because it, it, the heat manifests it into physical and you put it in a jar and then overnight it goes, it's gone, it disintegrates. So, wow. uh, so that's my experience with parasites. Beetles and worms and everything. Yeah. So I, I, how, I, how I taught myself this, my daughter was ill when she was three. And I, I got one of them local doctors, which is like an overnight doctor. And she, he said, she's got tonsillitis. Now she had temperature stomach ache so it wasn't tonsillitis she'd been on the toilet uh, at two in the morning i looked at the toilet seat and there's 12 of these beetles on the toilet seat and as i'm, I'm looking at them thinking wow it just dis just disappeared uh she had a kidney infection so, mm -hmm. so that's the first time i actually seen them and then i saw the green mile and i thought aye aye it's something here this green mile's quite real actually Mm -hmm. So, so that's how I saw it. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Really appreciate it. Okay. You're welcome. Love you. I love you too. And we've got uh, Tanisha who would like a scan and a healing. Who? And uh, Tanisha, she's coming Thank on. You. I've got Majestic Thank Healing. Yeah, her name's Tanisha. Oh, right. Tashina. Yeah, I've got it. What does she? Hi, how's everyone doing? Uh, doing fine. Yeah, it's only, what time is it here you now? It's five to two in the morning. <laughs> That's why I've got me uh, smoothie. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, is there any problems you need healing, or do you want just healing uh, energy? My, um, my stomach and any energy or anything else you guys can scan that I can't um, be myself. What was the so first? Me. What was the first bit? Sorry, your stomach. The stomach. Okay. I right, just relax. See what I can do. I'm already getting it. Mm -hmm.
esquinas. Another one to your intestines, your first. It's doing a healing on your intestines and then to your stomach. So you may feel a warmth or vibration. And then he's moving to your breasts. You've got cysts in your breasts. He's doing healing in both your breasts. To your gallbladder. Do you still have your gallbladder? Yes. Mm -hmm. You've got some um, stick muck in your gallbladder. He's um, clearing out your gallbladder, which may cause some nausea for you, some queasiness. Let's say you've got the stir of gall stones. He's going to dissolve those. He's going into your pancreas and your spleen now and doing some healing. It's right next door. I don't know if it's behind or next to it. I'm just seeing those two organs. is going to your kidneys and doing healing. It's going to the back of your neck and down your spine and your hips, brush your shoulders, then your hips. You've got some pain you're been having in your back. Especially your lower back. And then in the back of your neck, you've got some knots in the back of your neck. You may feel some heat or warmth. quite a bit of info there. Uh, I've got to remember it. I was going to forget it. When you do, uh, when you give people messages and stuff, be careful with their negativity. Ground yourself at the end, afterwards. I think you're picking stuff up from them because you've got to like, to, to actually get some, you've got to mingle energies and uh, 
you're picking up that. I also got that you're quite an old soul. You got you. That's an, I'm getting. I'm getting it now. Yeah, you got a, a download during that. So you got they're giving you a download. I don't know what that is. Uh, so you've got like a gift from the spirit world. Uh, I would say look further into what you're doing around. You know, look at other abilities, uh, healing or anything like that. Uh, but also connect to some of your old aspects because you're in it, quite an old soul. So you've got a lot of knowledge inside you. And you could pick that out, yeah. That knowledge that is probably not uh, humanity's knowledge, it's probably outside the box, if you know what I mean. It's probably, yeah, uh, yeah. You, you, you do know you've, you've had some quite vivid uh, alien beings or, you know, different planets and stuff like that. Atlantis is one. Definitely. Atlantis, you say? Hmm? Atlantis. 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 You're on Atlantis. Uh, when, I, when I pick these aspects, they're normally very high up. They've got a lot of knowledge. Uh, I try and get rid of the ones that like... Because we've all had like a market stall and stuff like that. I, I try and pick out the ones that would help you now. So tap into uh, some of your old knowledge souls, the ones that have got knowledge. And how I, I do it, I I, I, I I pretend I'm in like a castle and I'm meditating and it's got like a tower and I'm going down the tower and it's doors. And it's the ones that have got like ancient sort of angelic writing on that light up. And then I enter it and I, I, I get the knowledge. Any that don't light up, I don't, I'll, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, but you also got a download then. So you've got you you've been given some. Okay. I, I heard a uh, that popping in my ear, so yeah. I can resonate with that. Yeah. I can feel I received something. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so yeah. you've been given some. So it's uh, it's probably not open at the no, It'll open when you're ready for it to open. So. But I, I feel it going through, but I haven't got a clue what it is. <laughs> you know, it's for you only. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Did you feel healing, um, by the way? Um, I felt this um, this warm energy sensation, um, mostly coming from like my heart, like a, a heartburn experience. Yeah. Um, um, and I, and I felt your energy I, I was opening myself up to receiving your energy like I could feel your energy entering in me and I remain um, calm mm. um, you have really good really really good energy I'm Thank you. so happy with what you do mm. um, I'm so excited and blessed for you um, thank you Thank you. I'm so happy that um, I am um, I came to visit you guys this is really enlightening um mm. got a random text message from someone i've given several readings to to join this platform as i received the text message i've seen the cardinal pass by so i felt like it was meant for me to stop by to get this healing for you guys mm. and um i appreciate the work that each one of you do this is simply amazing i'm grateful for you all well, thank you. That, I well, we're, really we're appreciate that. We're here. We do this. Um, we do this. Well, it'll be twice a month now, but we do this once a month for free. Mm. Oh, and well, in the northern northern hemisphere, this is the southern hemisphere. But the, it, it's open for anybody. Um, but this will be later in the afternoon. And uh, Bill's Bill's in the in England, and I'm in Arizona. So, Rick, my husband and I are in Arizona. Yeah, we. I love Arizona. Sedona is like my second. We're not home. far. We're not far from from Sedona. What part of Arizona? We're looking to try to move out that way in maybe, uh, maybe six months from now. Just we're we're in Phoenix proper. We're north of the city of Phoenix, northwest. Okay, cool. We were looking at some land out that way, actually, in Phoenix. 
Oh god, the highest prices right now too. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I'm uh, looking to kind of shift over that way, just based on my abilities and my energy. Yeah, cottonwood. Um, cottonwood is the best place. You know what? Sedona is packed. Doesn't yeah. matter what day of the week or yeah. when you go, and uh, it it's it's a tourist trap. Right. It yeah. really, really is. It's, uh, it used to be very, very nice to go to. It's now just packed with people. Yeah, yeah. They took the moratorium off. For 10 years, you were allowed to build there. Now they've opened it up and it's just crowded. Doesn't matter when. Wow. Yeah. You guys are like simply awesome. I'm so happy to connect with you guys. Um, you. And I look forward to stopping back in and I mean, I know you guys do some awful, awesome work, but if I could do anything at any time for any one of you, you know, I'm more than happy to. Thank so, you. This was a great experience. I'm so happy that I came back. Thanks. Thank We're you. glad. We're glad. Yeah. I love you so much. Real talk. Like, really love you so much. You guys be at peace. Thank you. Just one thing I'd like to say. Okay. Some of the stories of thousands of years ago, you were in that. So stories really? in books, you were in, you were in that. Wow. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you find that. Oh, wait a minute. My, <laughs> husband, my husband was Zeus. She was in Atlantis. Mm. Wow. I've heard that I'm going to be iconic in this life. Um, but I hadn't heard that I was previous lives. Um, I know I've done some amazing things like doctor, lawyer, healer, um, this mediumship thing, but not, I have not gotten that deep to where I know all of me yet. Um, but I just kind of started my journey eight years ago and then three years ago is when I really started to tune in and then this past July almost a year ago is when I walked away from the railroad to do this full time so I'm still in that group of learning but my I, I noticed my abilities get stronger every single day um, do you have Native so, American history I'm sorry do you have a Native American um, ancestor anywhere? Um, I believe so. I just don't know a lot about it yet. Do you, do you feel Native American ancestors around you? Yes. Do you see them? No, I don't see them yet. I feel their energy and I hear them speaking to me. Oh my God. She's not from here. Dear Shaman, you are a healer. Yeah. Oh my God. There's a group of 11 of you that came to this planet in this incarnation, in this time, and you are, you're my eighth that I've found. You are the, our eighth one that we've found. Wow. And um, you have around you right now, I don't know if you can see them, Phil. They're star, they're star people. I was seeing, that's why, that's why I said you connected to the Ooh, aliens, yeah, meaning other planets, other planets. They, they, didn't, they didn't show themselves until now. And I guess only because there was a whole group of people. And I'm sorry I'm taking up time, everybody. No, uh, no, no, I, I need to. I need to hear, I need to be here this moment. Wait, uh, Deb, 11th dimension, I guess. 11th dimension. Yes, they are. 11th around dimension. you, around you at all times, from the time that you incarnated in this life, they're, they've been with you, guiding you all the way. There Is are that, 11 of them. They're Mayan, they're Native American, but they're from the star, they're, you have, there's um, 11 of you incarnated right now on the planet. And all of you are shaman. Can anyone feel the heat that's coming on now? Is anyone yeah. feeling very hot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
kind of burning up. They're letting you know that they're there. Yeah, I feel the, um, I always get this sensation right up in my head. Um, it's hard to explain. It's just like a, a beam. I feel like it's a beam, like I'm highlighting um, okay. right now. They're your family. They all, uh, they sit around you like in a powwow, like sitting in, in, uh, in, in, uh, in sitting around a campfire, like in the, in, in the teepees. They're sitting, they all have their tribal headdresses on. Mayan, Native American, all around you. They're very, they're all chiefs. They're all high. They're, they are your ancestors. That's what they're called. That's it. That's what they, they're called the ancestors. Your queen is here. Uh, she's incarnated. She's in Florida. She's the first one that we found. Really? Yes. Wow. We found another one in the UK. Um, two more in Florida. Two more in Florida. Three more. Wait a minute. One, two, three more in Florida. Four. Four. One in Miami, two in Jacksonville, one in um, St. Petersburg area. You, one in the UK, then there was one in California. Where are you located? Maryland, you said, Maryland. right? Yes, I'm in Maryland right now. So, um, and I guess we're going to find all of you. <laughs> wow. You're from the stars, but you're all from this one place and you're all 11th dimensional beings. Yes, but very high vibrational. Uh, that's just yeah, that's it. I, when I said you're on other planets straight away, I don't know, yes. normally get that because normally I'm I'm feeding off other, but this time I went direct to the planets, which was a bit different. yes. She's uh, you're a very very high dimensional being. Um, you came here, and your your um your village or your they didn't want to let you go. Let me tell you, it was a, it was a very emotional send off when you left. When you decided to lower your vibration and come here, it was not. They didn't want you to come. They didn't want you to do this. And the eleven of you and your queen to do this. Wow. Yes, it was a very emotional thing, which is why you have all of them around you at all times, which oh is why God. you feel their energy. Yes, I feel like I'm about to cry. <sighs> so you're all spread out somewhat. Hopefully when we find all 11, we'll get everybody together. On a Zoom call. On a Zoom call. That would be... Why are they here? They're here, they're here to have an experience that they're mainly here to keep to raise the vibration of this planet because they're such a high vibrational. But they are all shaman, every one of them. They're all healers. They're all anything that you. They're all so high vibrational. They can do anything. They, this is their time, and I'm apparently we're the we're the ones that are the messengers to give them this information. We're the ones that are bringing this information to them. And we're so honored. <laughs> wow. I'm so grateful. We're yeah. so honored. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Which is because I'm finally understanding me. Like Why? Why? All these things are so confusing to you, right? Yes, like I'm finally start to come into my own, and it's been a long time coming. So I just finally understand why you're so different from everybody else. Yes, <laughs> I'm so different. 
Yeah. And I'm sorry, I understand. Yeah. Everyone who knows me thinks I'm crazy. So. Yeah. Well, welcome to the world. <laughs> <laughs> I have children that think I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Dad, what my what my children say is when they have a party. Dad, can you not say anything? <laughs> <laughs> just, not say. One of mine just doesn't want to talk to me. Two years now. <laughs> talk to her. <laughs> what is that? What is that old lady said now? <laughs> don't even tell oh, me. I don't want to talk to her. <laughs> oh, don't put her on the phone. Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, now the son's trying to put us back together, and he says, "No, I'm not going to show up for that." No. <laughs> oh wow! Do you oh want well. A, do you want a, ca- a guidance card? Yes, most definitely. Yeah, yes. just just tell us stop when you feel right. <laughs> stop. <laughs> and this one is music, and music is yes. Music isn't what you think it is. It's vibration. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So okay. you've got to pick up the vibrations now. Yeah, spiritual vibrations. People think that's just music. It's not. It's it's uh, it's like a sound vibration for healing. There you go. So hopefully that's okay. Wow. So you're not just a medium. I know. You're everything. Oh my God. So I know I'm not just a medium. I feel that every day. But I'm just. When you pick that name, Majestic, you are Majestic. Yeah, I know. I know. I I think that. I I, I don't know where it came. Like, I picked it and I've not just been feeling it every time like I, it's like I think I got in the shower one day and I'm like what's my name who am I and I just randomly picked it and I, I've i been running with it it's perfect you are majestic you are perfectly majestic thank you <laughs> welcome to the family thank you so much oh my god thank you so much yeah, the, the medium part is just to start that's yes. just a, a, a spiritual start. You've got to start yes. somewhere. The rest should follow now. Yep. Especially, especially you got a download. I wonder what that was. Yeah. <laughs> that that download was pretty quick. Oh, you got a download. Don't know what it is. I'm sure it was a download. I can tell. I can tell that I got a download because I hear the <laughs> popping in my ear. So. And they said, yes, oh, just watch me. Yes. That's what they've been telling me to say. <laughs> just watch me out because, yes. Um, um, well, expect to be able to see things very soon. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Will I see them? Will I be able to? Inside, talk? inside. They said, just, just wait, just see them inside. And then you'll be able to see them outside. In your mind's eye. Yes, the mind's eye. They're always with you. They never leave you. They've always been with you from the time you were born. Wow. They've been there. And I've been through so much. I've They've never through. left you. Never. <laughs> Man, this was amazing. Okay, I'm sorry, everybody. We're, we got to move on. Yeah, I'm sorry. You can sorry. contact us. We're on Facebook. <laughs> Just a name. Or, well, I, I got the link. That's all right. I'll find you. No worries. <laughs> oh, my God. I love you guys <laughs> so very much. Like, I appreciate it. Everybody in this room knows how to contact us, but um, Sophie, will give, Sophie will put down all her information okay. for me. But won't you, Sophie? Is, is Sophie still yes, awake? definitely. Oh, thanks, Sophie. 
I'm sorry, Sophie. <laughs> no, it's, it's very interesting. <laughs> Reinhardt's next. Is he still here? Yeah, well, Rhonda said it. it Rhonda Rhonda's a card. Do you want a card, oh, a Rhonda? Card. Oh, a card. Do you want a card? No. It's not Hi. Rhonda. It's not Rhonda. Um, Her name. First of all, I wanted to say, Rick, man, you just talk a lot, okay? Yeah, well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Knock it off. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's Tashina. It's Tashina. <laughs> <It's Tashina. laughs> <laughs> he wanted to do a draw card yeah. for you, right? Yes, please. That was still. There's so much going on right now. Uh, stop. Oh. Rhonda didn't get it. I'm sorry, I misunderstood. Yeah, miracles. Oh wow! Yes. I, I wonder what they. I wonder what they mean. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, the angels are giving you miracles, so I think <laughs> when they're giving you miracles, it means you need miracles. So you probably got a very big problem. And you just ask the angels to uh, help you. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, that's very interesting. Because hmm. you've got a okay. problem at the moment. You need a miracle. <laughs> I guess. All right. Well, maybe it's coming. Uh, there's a lot of spiritual things happening at the moment, but. Uh, I'm pretty blessed, so we'll see what that what that brings. I, I, we'll I that think brings. with that card in itself, you could probably manifest uh, uh, stuff. If you, you know, you, it's something you need, you could probably cr create it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm I'm letting them know. Absolutely, cool. twice a day, they know what I want, need, and deserve. <laughs> David's video yesterday said he's, he's he's getting everyone to manifest. I did not win the lottery last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't, and I forgot. So there you go. Um, I was just wondering: is there another? Is there a spiritual uh, message that somebody's got for me? Are you doing that, Deb? I'm asking. Archangel Michael says, <clears throat> you're doing a great job channeling. You still have to let go. That's why I, I use your art, use your art, not your brain. That's what I was just giving. <laughs> That's yeah. very similar. I don't let go. <laughs> You're still, you're still trying to, you're still trying to manipulate. Mm. Stop yeah. manipulating. Let, let the uh, info come through your heart. Yeah, it's that damn control that. Yep. You know. Okay. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. All right. And so, when he's saying let go, is that just kind of, in general? No, let go of the control. It, when you're trying to, when you're channeling, let go of controlling it and let it flow natural. Don't, uh, don't try and, don't try and, don't try and, and control what you think it is. Let, let it come through naturally instead yeah. of saying, oh, well, this is what I think it should say. Um, or, or don't think. Mm, right. <laughs> it shouldn't, it shouldn't come with the way you think it should. It should all flow normal. Like it shouldn't be something you would say. It should be something they're telling you to say. That, that they're saying, not you're saying. Okay. Okay. Um, I just had a question. What is the? So I know that I can, I can um, channel, and I know that I can use telepathy, but I have a hard time deciding which one is happening. Like, how do I know? Very few people are, have telepathy right now, so I don't know what you mean by telepathy. Okay, well, then that answers my question. I'm not using telepathy, apparently. 
the I telepathy for me is talking to a a, a um, person that's attached to some an attachment. I'm talking. I'm speaking to some a, a dead person <laughs> oh. that's attached to okay. somebody. So I'm tele I'm, I'm speaking telepathically to a dead person. That I can do, but I telepathic communication. Um, when you're thinking and you're you're speaking telepathically to to a, someone that's crossed over, is totally different than telepathic communication, where you hear a, a voice. I, I I don't know. Telepathic to me is hearing a voice that's other than in your own voice. Is that what you mean? Okay, so tell it, so what I what I am suggesting is that um, I go telepathically and speak to um, either you know an ancestor or my dad, or I'll go talk to um, father. I think that's Dan channel. So so okay. so if I'm so if I channel, then it's it's more physical because I am giving of myself, my body, right? I'm giving of my, that's channeling to me. No, no. Okay, it's not. So, so I'm you're channeling, no. I'm channeling, I'm channeling, I'm channeling and I'm not giving over my body. I channel all the time. Okay. When you're talking okay. telepathically, it's when they're speaking to you in their voice. In their voice. Oh, okay. Well, that it, that is the difference for sure. Is that when you're speaking? Well, you're speaking. Let's say you're doing a, a with a client past life, and and the energy is speaking to that person, but you feel like you're speaking to a third person in the room. It's like you can tell it's a male energy. It almost even it sounds like the, the voice has changed the person you're talking to. Say it again. Would that be? Telepathic. Well, let's say you were working. No, I'm talking about channel. I'm, I'm basically just. I'm kind of asking, kind of what Rondo's asking. So, would channeling be like, if you're working with a client and you're doing past life, and that person brings in another energy, and you're talking yes. to that energy, and you you yes. actually sounds different. Yes. It sounds like, yes. and you know yes. it's a male yes. or a female. Yes. Like, it's not, it's not yes. like three people in the room. It even sounds like yes. three people in the room. Yes. Okay. Yes. There's two ways of channeling. One is you, they, you, you spirit leave your body and they come in and speak, which uh, the place is where trans, I used to it's trans channeling. Yeah, which the place I used to do where I do healing, the per, the woman there who was in charge, she could do that and she could have alien beings coming in, and you could pick oh, wow. up pick up the you could pick up the energies there. And sometimes you haven't got a clue what they're saying because they're, they're doing light language and they're too fast. <laughs> I can only pick um, up s slow light language. Or the other one is you are getting them, talking to them, getting the message, and then you're telling them what they're saying. You're repeating it, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, yeah, so I then, then that is confirming channeling, not telepathy. Right. Okay, right. okay, right. good to know. Good to know. Right. I appreciate uh, that. I, I've actually done both. So there you go. <laughs> ah, right. Okay. Right, but, okay. but you're a different. You're you're, you're sure. totally different. Not a lot of people are like you, Phil. I know. <laughs> Not a lot well, of people well, have, have the experience well, that you have. That you're you're five years old and and you've been doing this since five years old. Well, uh, Sophie can vouch this. I actually channeled Michael, and he said my bedroom was was wasn't angelic. It was scruffy. <laughs> I should tidy it up. <laughs> yeah, then I knew he was channeling. I wasn't impressed with that. <laughs> Very good. Well, thank you guys. Love you guys so much. I always enjoy these and, and really, really appreciate you all. So thank you so much. Thank you. Always so, welcome. It's really an honor. Sophie, who did a, who did a channel that sounded like him? I can't remember. Uh, Bashar. I channel bash, I know, not many can, and uh, I can't remember it to them. So don't ask me today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, we have Reinhard next. Um, Tashina, Tashina didn't get a card, did she? Yeah. She did? She did. Yeah, I sent it to her. 
I got oh, miracle. Oh, sorry, I mean, I sent you details. You got miracle. Miracles. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's all right. I missed it. Thank you. By the way, Violet just messed the text me. She's miles better. So, oh, wow. That's good. What? Violet. Vi Violet, who's had the vaccine, miles better. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Good. All right, Reinhardt. Okay, hi. Um, I, I greet everyone here, and I'm so delighted to be uh, with you all. Um, <clears throat> recently, I'm working on the procedures which I had learned to uh, to do the healing, and um, I, I di discovered that um, it would help me if I would be able to uh, see an energy color. That means, um, as an example, when when we think our white light um, circle above us and we bring it down and then uh, most of you, you can nicely say, oh, it's green, it's red, it's yellow. I don't see that. Yeah. Um, for me, it's it goes down and and then... Right, uh, I'll, I'll show you how I do it. I, I've seen color auras since I was a, a child. In fact, I upgraded my daughter. She could see uh, aura. And what you do, it's a bit like scrying. You know, where you're scrying into a bowl. Have you ever heard mm -hmm. of that? And what you're doing is you're twisting your eyes. So you, 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 it's a bit like going out of focus. Yeah. yeah? And then look at a, a, a white background and you can see the aura field and you can see all the colors. So. So you mean oh. make, your, make your eyes cross? It's near enough making your eyes cross. It's a bit like seeing some here, but you, you're looking past it out of focus and you see the aura of it. I've seen spirit doing this way. Uh, and if you do it when you're like in a, like a spiritual zone, like when you're meditating and you, then you wake up and you just do it to, to see that, but then go out of focus. Uh, I can do it to the point when I'm, when I'm doing healing that I can see the energy in the room, which is very weird. And your eyes are open or closed? Open. I can see it with my eyes. I, I see it with well, my eyes. Um, I could see more with my third eye. Um, with your mind's eye? Yeah, when uh, one or two years ago, and I had those many um, implants. Uh, you recognize this uh, in one of the last um, sessions where we, we talked about this sickle one, and I had the aura. Uh, the session and a lot of stuff was removed. So that was the reason I wrote um, maybe checking for, for an implant, whatever it is there, still there. And if there's something, then um, uh, doing some healing. Um, yeah, and because I I hope that um, the, the visibility on the third eye will, will increase again and it, it it is not in the way it is oh remember he, he had that helmet thing on yeah mm. that's what they that's mm. and 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 this and this one uh w what you saw uh yeah, um it was it 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 was in the in the back of the head mm -hmm. and and it was connected to um to a box well, it is very difficult to, to visualize it, but it, everything is frequency and energy. So the thing what what there, and um, they, are, they are incorporated in, in our own uh, frequency and energy. It is just as if there are, there are additional layers in it, and, and they, they just drill through your body and connect with any portal and whatever it is. And, and I got a, a long list of things which had been removed. And when when that had been done, I felt as if I would have born anew. You know, it was I was really light. And um, it and, and if I could get some some checkup now, um, if the, 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 the third eye is 
the, 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 the psychic ability is from the back of your head. It comes into the back of your head. So all, all psychic goes into the back of your head and then there's something just above your brain in the middle there. And the thing is, third eye is not, his third eye, he could see a few years ago out of his third eye mm. and now it's, he's having trouble. So mm. now it should be still open. You want me to send you healing? Uh, yes, it's, of it's, course. Just, it's, it's just if I open it, Sophie will say, why can't I open it? <laughs> yes, do it. <laughs> right, okay, so let's have a go. But I, I do think it could be the back of the head that's the problem. Well, that's where yes, that thing was. I, I had this was. thing in the back of my head and the, it was that's removed. That's thing was, yeah. and now it's yes. supposed to be gone. Yeah, but it might, it might be what it did with your input. You psychic input. So I'll see if I can clear it. It might have a blockage or something like that. Okay. So just relax. Archangel Michael going, did he not listen to you? <laughs> it's like a pet raft. That was you know. <laughs> What was that? It's like they're making me laugh. Mm -hmm. Archangel Michael's calling, saying that, that Raphael doesn't listen, does he? <laughs> I'm just ignoring Michael. I can thank you for that. <laughs> Reinhardt, I hope you're feeling that uh, powerful energy. They're both there. Uh, I can use it. I can use it. I know. I can use yeah, it. They're both healing you. Yeah, it's a challenge. I actually have that. <laughs> Let's see how, how, how the one which is faster in healing. Yeah. <laughs> Michael's doing this now. He doesn't know me. He normally it's just on Pegasus, actually. I talk to I talk to Michael uh, every day, so he must have heard me. So funny. <laughs> What's funny is pe people take angels as very serious, and we actually know. No, they're very. <laughs> They're very, very loving and they love to laugh. They love to joke around. But the healing uh, happens, believe me. I yeah. feel it in my head, yeah. Yeah, Gabriel actually called me the joker. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Gabriel just said he's a better dancer than you are. No comment there. <laughs> don't, don't let so, don't ask so few. He said he, he says he's a better singer than you are too. Just tell him his ego's too big. Like Michael said everybody is. <laughs> That's funny, we should hear more about that. He's got a big ego, Michael, isn't he? <laughs> Is it just about singing and dancing? He said Raphael trips over his own feet. <laughs> he can fly, he just can't do walk. You know, do you know, I've actually got a story there. I will tell you in a bit. Oh. Michael's done. I am at all. Well, he won. <laughs> No, he didn't. No, <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> uh, Deb, I, I used to dance to jazz very, very fast. And I was on stage uh, uh, with three black people, and 600 people watching. I tripped over my own feet and landed on that ass. So. That's probably why he said that. I don't know. <laughs> That's <so big. laughs> no, there you go. 
And afterwards, everyone used to say to me, friends, is that person, that friend of yours, the one who fell on his ass? <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't remember the name, just remembered me at uh, event. So, how was the healing right now? Um, I, felt, I felt the healing in, in, in the head. And um, I, will, I will see in, in brackets if I see, you know. <laughs> yeah. So. You want a card or not? Yes, yeah. please. Because he, he's normally given a message. It's, it's been quite late, aren't they, now? If you know Rick needs cards today, too. Yes. He's never had them. You can, you can stop now if. All right. Uh, yeah. Rick, Rick, everything that uh, Deb wants came true in that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love this card because uh, it's support. Uh, so, what could support mean? Support means uh, be it mean, for, for everyone. Support. Well, it, it means that you've got uh, all the guy. I've got it. All the angels will help you what you need. So just ask for it. So they're there to support you, uh, to help you, and that's so all. All of them. All well, of them. Reinhardt is an angel, and his yeah. wife is his guardian angel. His his late wife. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where she's gone now. Uh, Elise was, was her name. She's still there. Is she still there? Oh, she's still with interesting. You. Okay, that's good. <laughs> she's still there. She tells me she's still there right now. She told me right now. Okay, that's be beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you haven't got any implants, by the way. I didn't pick that name. So th then um, they, they removed everything. So that's good. Mm -hmm. it, it was really something and and the healing which I would what I have learned is just um, the one which they worked on me and it's a complete one you know when you when you finish it uh, you have removed everything in, in not 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 me or them but the archangels and Archangel Michael he's 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 the one who does most of it so, and, and that was the reason, because to prepare it, uh, it helps to see the energy when you, when you do the, the energy preparation. So, I'm, I'm not at that stage what you are, but uh, you can do it if, if you walk all the way through and you are able to ask the angels to, to work on the person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's brilliant. Now, thank you very much, Phil. You're and welcome. that and uh, thank, yeah. thank you very much. That's always an honor. Thank you. Uh, Cindy just said, uh, do all healings come with a scan for implants? Yeah, if you've got implants that we're not happy with, or even parasites, anything, we, we do sort them out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we, uh, Gabrielle next. Yeah, is she, is she turning into a chair? No, Gabrielle. No. Hi, guys. Oh, well done. Uh, what's oh, love? I, I think I'm, yeah, it's Gabriel. 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 Yeah, Gabrielle. Sorry, I, I went ahead of myself a little bit then. Do you want, is, is there anything you need to concentrate or just leave me? Um, just a healing and um, I've been, I had a little bit of a cold, like some sinus stuff, so um, a little stuffed up, but I'm feeling better. I sent myself some energy, but I thought it'd be nice to receive some. Okay, I'll send some healing. You want a card afterwards, yeah? Yes, please. Yeah, okay, just relax. Are you scanning, though? Looks like it's sinus, sinus infection, sinus problems, sinus pollen, 
We have a little bit of everything going on with you. Okay. Um, just doing a healing in your sinus, <laughs> your, sinus your ears, your throat. I feel a little warmth. Yeah. I feel it like kind of like buzzing down my face towards my neck. Mm-hmm. It's like a tingling. Now it's going to go into your respiratory. I feel I'm working on my lungs. I was told uh, you need to ground yourself a moment. I don't know why. I you think must... a lot. <laughs> what? I said I'll be in my head a lot. Like, repeating thoughts. Does that makes sense. Ooh. You overanalyze things? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Probably a bit of meditation yeah. and grounding. Just clear it all out. Okay. Thank you. You want a yes, please. I was thinking you, you, you might are. get. I was thinking you might get a children one where you've got. A, I was trying to pick up which card you want to get. Ah, listening. Uh, mm. Listening. So the angels are talking to you. But because your mind's all jumbled up, like you said, you're not listening to who you should be listening to. Right. Okay. That makes sense. So, sounds like you just need to meditate and listen to what the angels are telling you. Yeah. yeah. And stop overanalyzing the 3D stuff. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good and well when I get downloads, but then when it's like... The 3D stuff, that's usually when I overanalyze. I'm like, let me stuff you let, get that crap. It's the stuff you gotta let go. <laughs> exactly. Uh, what, you could you do, what, what you could do is you could have a part of your brain manifest a shredder. <laughs> Just shred that's it. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I don't need the shred. Yeah, that's a good idea, Phil. Thank you. Or, or you could have a cupboard and just stick it in the cupboard and lock it away. Bring it out when you need it. So. I like the shredder idea. Yeah, because a lot of it's like repeating stuff. Just as long as you don't, don't, just as long as you don't shed the repeating stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Comes to dust. 
I should I, just, sh yeah. I shred my bills. Am I supposed to do that? <laughs> no, it's good. Then they don't get your information. I, mean, <laughs> I don't pay them first. Oh, is that, am I right. supposed to pay them? I'm kidding. <laughs> I can't. I can't pay that bill. I've shredded it. Is that okay? Send me another one, and I'll shred that. <laughs> no, don't send me another one. I just don't want to pay it. <laughs> I don't want to overanalyze it. So let me shred it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Just be done with it, so I can focus more on the stuff that they're telling me to do, and then so I can get farther faster. That makes sense. <laughs> Thank you. I love you so much. I don't know why I'm saying this, Deb, but for years I've been trying to win the lottery and all my spiritual friends say, you can't use your powers to win. I say, but yeah, but it's fun trying. <laughs> yeah. That's probably why I've got two guards next to me. Oh, right. Cindy, Jumper, do all healings come with a scan for implants? Of course. Yeah, yeah. I, I replied that. Yeah, yeah, we, yes. get, we saw yes. that. Uh, we have. Um, that's a that, it's, that's a glaring that's a glaring thing that jumps out at us. Father lets us know if you have an impact. Well, thank you for answering that. You're welcome. He's coming. Okay. Iana, can you hear us? Iana? Yes. You can unmute Iliana. You're next. Now? It's able to listen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Here. Thank you. Well, okay. there's some alien. Can you speak again? Because all I can see is Phil. Okay, I had some problems with my cough. And I feel uh, sad. I don't know why. And uh, sometimes I feel energy in my back, close to my heart. Usually at the same time, almost every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do have an attachment. You have somebody, you have it, an attachment. And it's a man. Rick's going to go put our bird to cover our bird. He wants to go to sleep. He's letting us know. I could kind of put a cover over the cage. Okay. He's screeching. Bed done. Sorry. Jesus is here. He wants to um, help bring this man to the light. This man was also part of the recycle.
87 years old. His name's Henry. English version of Henry. I, I, I don't know how you would say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus is here. The, the attachment name is Henry. He's 87. Eliana, you may start feeling a change once he releases himself. So we're going to talk to him now. My apologies. Um, He's willing to go. <clears throat> He's releasing himself and detaching. And he's leaving with Jesus. We're doing a healing the back, repairing that area. Or healing your respiratory system. Did you have anything else, Phil? Yeah, I'm. Uh, what I'm getting is, uh, you are, you've got a past life problem, uh, and that, that's why you've got a problem with your heart. Your family died. In, uh, your family died very, very suddenly in a past life, and mm -hmm. uh, it was quite upsetting, actually. Uh, so you need to just release that as a trauma. I think you even probably killed yourself afterwards because you couldn't live without. Uh, but some of, you've had a past life that wasn't a good one, uh, and you brought some of that energy into this one. Mm. So, yeah. So uh, how do we go about this then? So we heal that past life. Mm-hmm. Do you have any more information on that one? I'm trying to ask the creator. Was she a young girl or a boy? You show her as a boy? I just know it's uh, a family. They all died. Three or four. 
I'm trying to I'm trying to work out how did, what what year it was. But it was quite it's upsetting just hitting that if you know what I mean. I'm showing us the boy. Mm. Um, carriage ride? Is it a carriage? Like you know, horse and carriage? Or was was it? A, I feel it, they were killed. Could be horse and carriage, but they were. I'm seeing a horse and carriage. It was sudden. Mm. I'm seeing a horse and carriage. Mm. Initially, I, I I did think car, and I thought, no, it's not a car. It's a little earlier than that. Carriage. Early horse and carriage. Yeah. Um, Mexico. Um, it was actually Arizona, which was Mexico then. It's not far from here, where I live. Um, There's a lot of emotions from it. A lot of emotions. Okay, so. It's like a horse and buggy. It feels like a horse and buggy is her, his father and his mother. They were coming home. They were being chased by Indians. Like a. Okay, Indian. oh, yeah. hmm. Right, so we try and release it. It sounded like a movie playing. So yeah. now you have to forgive. You have to forgive the Indians, and you have to forgive yourself for killing yourself. You were about eight or nine years old. Look like. Got to give yourself a big love, and you try, and then you you coach your your soul <laughs> fragment back.
Right. I asked uh, Ariel to help us. Did you feel the release, sir? Uh, my back, my legs, uh, feet, foot, and um, here. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, at the end, I asked Ariel to just give us, because she's good for emotions, so she helps us out. You want a card, by the way? Mm -hmm, yeah, thank you. I wonder if it'll be released or something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him when to stop. He's a shuffling. When you, well, you're shuffling now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Stop. Uh, it's signs. Oh, okay. Uh, signs, what would signs be? Signs would be the angels are around you. You just got to find, see the signs. Look for them. Look for the signs, that's it. Look for signs of the angels. They're all around you. Yeah. Okay. I have a numbers all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. It's pretty, it's pretty it. Yeah, it's telling you to be aware of them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. That's very interesting. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for all your help. Yeah, it yeah, it might improve you might improve now now you've uh, you've sorted that past life problem. So you I have a uh, mm -hmm. I have a hypnosis session and I find some information about this and one of my past life has just lose my son, you say Diego, Diego is my son in this life and he was the son in uh, the, la the last time also. He was very sad and he passed away and the swimming pool supposed to be accident but it wasn't mm. and he was very sad that he don't like to live anymore and he passed away around five years old since he passed away i was very sad and i stopped to eat and drink and i pass away later yeah sometimes what happens is one life goes to another and they're very similar until you can clear that first one mm -hmm. you have a very similar in the next life different like different characters different story the same mm -hmm. result until you yeah. can clear the one that started it all off yeah I, so i find it uh, my son in this life is the same than the last time and uh, when I passed away, one of the scene was a man was there on the front of my funeral and he was my twin flame. And uh, I come over here to United States, supposed to find him. So we meet for some strange reason. And uh, since we meet, we have a telepathic connection, incredible all the time. But when I don't like it is he was sad, I feel sad. When he cry, I feel cry for nothing in my life. So I don't like the connection sadness, but I don't feel when he is happy. <laughs> uh, and he has some problems with addictions. And I listen message and one of them is you need to talk with him about connect with a spiritual path. So I didn't know him very well, so I, I didn't realize what is the way to talk to him and give a message. And I take a time and I come in another time to listen to the message. I listen, I give a message is not your problem what they think. 
you are a messenger. So I decide, okay, I had to say something. So I, I text him uh, one book about the spiritual path. And he answered in seconds and he said, oh, I, I donate money to the church. And I just think he doesn't understand it. Yeah. <laughs> because he's the man who handles money in the company. Yeah. So I, I just think, you know, he doesn't understand it. Right. Correct. Yeah. So my, uh, the information I receive, I need to, to give a message to him to connect with the spiritual thing. And I find later he has connection, listen many voices and have connection with different kind of beings. And I don't understand why he don't connect with the spiritual path. I can't understand. Well, what kind of beings? Are you sure they're? They, he, he told me, I can tell you, I can talk nobody, this, this and that, how you know that and blah, blah, blah. So I receive information for him and I need to tell him many things, but he don't listen. So a, a little by little receive a message like, he need to take care of the water. So I give a filter of water, alkaline water, alkaline filter, and uh, and many things I he don't understand the song or something to click in here his mind. One year or one year or more after that, he has problem with the kidneys, and he find the cancer. And he started to read my message, and he told me, "You know that." because you told me about the filter, the song that you tell me, uh, something like that, three or four things in a year. And finally he said, you know that. And I said, I really don't know, but I received the, this message. So he went to the hospital, da, 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 all the stories. When I have a meditation, I just see my mind was, uh, he almost passed away. I see the black car on the street close to the hospital and I just start to cry and I just say oh, how I can help him and just say to the Lord please he has a family he need to be here please help him I can take his place it doesn't matter it's so hard for him so I talk with him maybe one month after that. And I say, I see this, this and that. And he told me, how you know that? I was back to the hospital and I was in intensive therapy. And was you to take me off? And I say, no, just ask him for help. <laughs> and he was mad of that. And he said, you never, uh, do it anything like that again. And I say, okay, okay. And that's it. Everything I receive a message, I try to help him, but for some reason he don't listen. And the bad thing is I feel when he is back. I feel the pain is so hard and I cry and feel alone. My sadness is strong, very strong. And I just realize it's not me. No, it's how, not you. Yeah, uh, how I can help him if he don't listen to me? You can't. Yeah, and that is the story. And yeah. that's the problem with, well, see, because you're one egg split in half, your brother and sister. Mm -hmm. And so that's why you feel everything. Okay. And this is the difference with twin flames. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. So yeah. I, I yeah. start to find information about what's mean the twin flames because nobody told me just I in the session of hypnosis I just see the image in the universe. Right. The twin flames flying and da da da. I just I yeah. Yeah. It's it's nice. you're, the, you're the same you're from the same egg. Yes. Split in half. You, you can actually be opposites. Mm -hmm. You can be completely opposites. Yeah. And you have keys and codes to each other so you can you can actually say something in words and the words have got energy to open the other person up if you know what i mean normally twin flames come together when they need it oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay okay okay
So, but thank you for that because I, it's not funny. <laughs> no, it's not. No. And, but there's nothing. You have to honor his decisions, just like he has to honor yours. Okay. Okay. But thank you for your help. That that uh, helped me about a lot because even I didn't receive a mention of. Well, there's nothing wrong with you sending him healing. Okay. Nothing. Okay. There's nothing wrong with sending. We all send love and healing to everyone. Okay. So, you know, there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with that. Oh, okay. Okay. But I understand why. Thank you so much for your work. <laughs> yeah. Noni, she was here. She just left about five minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, she just left. So. Nani, Nani did? Yeah, she might pop back on again. Okay. But I can't see her now. And then um, Joan asked for a past life reading, but she's not here. Mm -hmm. well, we came here to do healing. I didn't want to do just past life. This is for healing. Yeah. Um, and just, then um, there's words. Just Rick Patricia. wants some healing and a card. <laughs> Patricia's knees can do some healing. We can mm -hmm. do healing on his knees. Yeah, he's got bone on bone. I'm good with these. Oh, do you want me to? I will try. What you do is, if you separate, you might better do this. Separate the bone with some cartilage in. Yeah. So I'll try and do that if you want. Rick can't. Rick can't. He doesn't know how to visualize. Remember, he sees things physically. Unlike, I can picture things, but he has to not because he. He can actually see them. He can see the fairies. He can see the angels. He can see when when Creator came to him. He actually saw him. <laughs> he actually saw the white light merge with him. So Rick has no imagination to see all these things. So he can't picture it. So when I tell him, "Can you visualize this?" He goes, "No, I can't. He can't. He can't do it." Well, I, I when I do healing, I can see inside the body. Yeah, I can too. Yeah, it's very, sometimes it's not nice. <laughs> so, I mean, and, and, I, and I ask him, can you feel it? He goes, no. I can picture the, the cartilage though in between the knees because I've seen x-rays of it, so I know. Uh, how you actually fix that? You've got to try and separate your bone and grow new cartilage. Yeah. And that's what he's going to do for you, but you have to picture him I doing wish. Uh, I'll try. <laughs> you need to. That's good. It's very possible. See, he can't. He can't. Mm. Okay. Okay. Just thinking of the energy I need to do that. Okay. Well, I'm going to help you do it with Creator. So it's a Rick's energy. Is it one knee or two? Both.
Yeah, they're cracking that. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the negativity you need. How was that? Your knees fine then? Yeah, I didn't feel a whole lot. Not easy to, to do it distant. You got a card? Sure. I think it'd be spiritual growth. I'm going to stop, so. Stop. <laughs> it's uh, forgiveness again. Where is that card? Hmm. Forgiveness. Does that ring a bell for anything? Yes. <laughs> it does. No. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's like surrender that, isn't it? Surrender any negativity. Well, we got a note, a private message from Patricia. She'd like to check her third eye ch chakra and her mom, her vision. No. <laughs> I just want to check my third eye chakra if you can see something because I felt something, but you see better. Do any ailing miles, Doctor Star? You are any ailing? Yeah, she wants us to. I don't think her third eye is open. I'll give you some healing. It might open your third eye. Almost looks like it's swollen. It almost looks like um, it, there's a healing. It almost looks like you know when you eat a lot of salt and your fingers swell. That's the only thing I can think of to describe it. So it's. I'm getting a message from Father. It's like you have to nourish your... It's like you have to eat the right foods to nourish your body. You have to nourish your mind too. So don't. Your third eye isn't open at all times. It opens and closes. So when I say that it's it looks swollen, like you've eaten a lot of salt. How do I describe this? 
Yeah, but I'm I'm picking up is when the spirit world connects, they brush the forehead. And that's when she should start connected. Yeah. Never had that message before. So you'll feel a brush on your forehead. Yeah. When, says, the, when, when the spirit world wants to connect, you'll feel like a static on the forehead here. And that's mm-hmm. when you, you check, check, just see what you get, see what messages you get. Uh, so don't believe what everybody tells you. Don't believe the pollution. Mm-mm. Trust your intuition. People are people are going out and, and they're they're trying to get off. They're going to all these different places and gathering information. Mm-hmm. And they're, they're going. They're trying to learn. All, you're you're trying to get information from all over. You have to use your heart. You know, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're starving for information. And you're pulling from everywhere and you're getting confused. It's interesting because here if you guys I was here and I start feeling sad. It's nothing connected to you guys, but I felt a sense when I'm gonna go inside to get information inside me, you know, it's like connected to take more responsibility, fully responsibility for who you are. I'm getting this feeling all the time. It's different, I'm talking to you, we share, but this needed, it is, it's inside me or... It's exactly right, it's all here, not out there. Yeah, it's all inside me and, you know, I've been feeling this, why I need to go out. You don't. Go in, go, in, <laughs> go inside, you know, have your hand. Because when I feel, I know. It's just mm-hmm. I know. Mm-hmm. That's exactly right. Well, if somebody else, I need to believe on you or believe on... You don't have to believe in us. Because you know. That's it is, right. It's different when you, you know, it, that's it. Right? But I doubt that there was doing some some kind of I think it was shadow work or some kind of work, and then when the light start coming up, I felt like something, like some like I have something black here, right? Just like a plug. Mm, so no, there's something. nothing black. There's nothing blacked up, and you don't have any shadow work to do. Man, I do a lot of shadow work. Come on. No, I th- I, I'm calling back my parts, love and love and acceptance, you know, everybody's, my parts. Everybody's worried about shadow work. There's no shadow work. Stop it. <laughs> Stop with the shadow work. No shadow work? No. No. You're <laughs> That's the news flashing dead. We have to remember that we are, we incarnate, we incarnate here. Mm-hmm. And to have the experiences to get rid of karma. This is our, you know, when you say heaven and hell, heaven and hell do not exist. This is your karma. No, I, I, I label share work, but it's no, it's like, because when I do that, I know I'm divine. I just look that part me. It's just like, it's not me. It's like, I really am not quite, it's like my consciousness, something here, look in this part, this part is, or is angry, is mad, or uh, doesn't like something, I'm go there and talk to them and say, okay, and bring to the light. That's what I do. But what, we, what it is, we've all got, we've got a shadow of ourselves. We're us and the shadow. And it's when the shadow overtakes it, that then you need to shadow it, but not many have got that. You'd have to be a really nutter to have that. Normally, you embrace the shadow because that's the dark side of you. Because we're equal, we're light and dark, we're balanced. Yeah, it's, it's when we're out of balance that you need shadow it, but not many are like that. Yeah, so, yes, that's what I meant. Yeah, so we're not, you know, we're 
we have to be careful. Everybody's everybody's getting paranoid with the shadow work, and yeah. they're mentioned. I see it mentioned so all over the place, and and people are getting stressed out about it. Stop stressing. I don't think we have to. I, mean, I don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. I don't see that we have to worry about the shadow work. Então, Deb, I need to go inside, man, because I need to have my own answers. I'm tired, Deb. I need to go inside and have my, talk to my own. I mean, you said I'm going to talk. I'm talking, oh, guy, come on, guy, talk to me or my angels. Man, I want to talk to my inside. I'm tired of talking to outside. <laughs> no, when, I mean, when, yeah, and yes, you do, but you, and listen to your inner guidance, definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely, but you, and what and the creator is saying that to you. But I meant, you know, everybody's jumping all over trying to, mm -hmm. to learn and jump from all these places, and, and they get confused. Mm -hmm. You know, use your inner guidance to let you know what's what's real and what's not for you. But what what happens? In, yeah, what happens with shadow work is if you have messages that are not right, yours and they're insane that's your shadow trying to test you and the people who listen are the ones that end up getting locked up for doing something really really bad <laughs> yeah. yeah so you want a card a card yes tell Good us when tell, <laughs> tell us when to stop 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 that's good ah. Uh, that's a good one, actually. Amelie. What is this? Amelie. What is Amelie? Amelie. Uh, Harmony, he means yeah. peace. It means, it means the conflict that you have with yourself will be resolved. There you go. 